In Windows, the easiest way to FTP is to use Windows Explorer, not Internet Explorer. In XP, which we'll cover shortly, you open My Computer, and in Vista, which we're currently looking at, you open Computer. In Vista, you'll need to clear your address bar like this, highlight it, and then hit the Delete key. As previously stated, in XP you'll need to use the My Computer view. Now, there are a couple of extra steps to take. First, we need to go into View, Toolbars, and ensure that Standard Buttons and the Address Bar are highlighted. Secondly, with the Standard Buttons, the Folders button here toggles the Folder view in the left-hand side. We need to have that showing. Now in your address bar, same thing, highlight it, hit the delete key. In the address bar, you'll need to type in FTP colon forward slash forward slash your username that your hosting provider gave you, colon your password, then at and your server.com. If your username is in the form of an email address, you'll have to replace the at symbol with percentage four zero. We could have something that looks like that. Username, password, at and your domain, mymagicwebutilities.com. So let's visit it. Okay, so you know how to drag and drop files and rename them, etc. using Windows Explorer, so you can use it for your FTP client. This will drop you in the top level of your domain and you'll have to navigate to public HTML or wherever you store your web pages. To change file permissions, you can click on any file, uh, right click on it and left click properties. Now in changing file permissions, Windows kind of left out the numbers. Most people just give you a number. For example, if they want you to make a file 777, you would highlight all these boxes. I've put down in blue, I've added, that's my addition to the window. Imagine this column, if it's checked, is 1. This column, if it's checked, is 2, and this column, if it's checked, is 4. If it's not checked, it's 0. The first figure in the three-digit figure and file permissions they give you is this line. So, if they wanted you to have it 6, then you would select those two. Now this second line, only the 4 is highlighted, and the third one, only the 4 is highlighted. So the permissions in this case would be 644. Pretty soon you're going to want to upgrade to an FTP client. I recommend FileZilla. You can obtain it from FileZilla-project.org. It has an interface similar to the one that you're used to with Windows Explorer. I'm just going to show you one of the things that you will need to do if you want to upload binary files. We go into Edit, Settings, Transfers, File Types, and here you would click on the default transfer type as binary. Now if you're uploading encoded PHP files, you would remove that from here so that it doesn't upload as ASCII. To show you how simple it is, I'm going to upgrade my wrap version on LarryKeenan.com and so first of all we're going to unzip the latest version of wrap followed by the latest patch version
So we'll just log into larrykinnon.com rapidmin and you'll notice I'm currently on version 3.03 .03, and the latest version is 3.13. Whoops! In FileZilla on the remote site I need to log into public HTML and at the local side I need to go into wrap system and there's my rapid min directory and I'm just going to upload it overwriting everything on the remote site. So we go upload and we'll be asked do we want to overwrite it and we're going to go always use this action apply to the current queue only and OK and up go my files when you've finished uploading your files you're going to want to run install.php and follow the directions now I need to go into the patches directory on my local hard drive and once again we'll re-upload rapidmin overwriting everything once again always use this action apply to the current queue only once again we'll need to run install.php and follow the directions finally we need to go into the rapid min directory on the remote site and delete install.php simply hitting the delete key will do it and we also need to set the permissions to config.php which has already been done but I'll show you file permissions and look at that we've got the actual number to set it to 644 instead of in Windows you've got to guess it 